Now the graphical user interface hopefully looks as you would like. What I want to explain now is the navigating SCAL. This can be done with two ways. One using the mouse and clicking on the cursors. The other way can be all done via keyboard commands. Personally for me the keyboard commands are fantastic. When you're sat in a car for example trying to calibrate it or your track side you've not got the best seating location. Trying to get a mouse and using the touchpad on a laptop or computer can be really time consuming and difficult. So you'll notice that every single item that is displayed in SCAL and SVIEW or any of our software has a capital letter that is associated with the word and this is the keyboard shortcut. So for file I can just press F and then if I want to load a calibration I can do that by just clicking and using everything on the keyboard command. Now let's have a look at ways that you can set these shortcuts for other aspects of the control. So for example if you want to be able to jump to certain areas of the calibration using the shortcuts this can be done also with custom shortcuts. So under Cal and then Edit Shortcuts, in here you can assign the basic table, the calibrations you want to be able to use between F2 and F8. So currently if I go onto here, and go Set and then go to Run Mode Fueling, Base Injection Table 1 and then OK. When I press F2 now, it will instantly jump to the Base Injection 2 time table, which is useful for me because these are tables that I might use a lot. These can be set for any item that's in the calibration on SCAL. Uh, so it's useful to be able to set up so you can jump between different windows very quickly.